Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric, and today we have breaking news. Marcus Simeon is heading to Texas. If everything works out, nothing falls through, physical goes well, this is going to be a done deal. As of now, they are in agreement on a contract. Marcus Simeon and the Texas Rangers, seven years. Right now, the reports are saying... Per Jeff Passan, $175 million. And if my math is right, that's going to be $25 million a year. So it is a pretty big contract. Is it overpaying? Well, I guess that remains to be seen. I think it's a little bit risky. The guy is 31 years old. He's coming off of a great season. But in 2020, he didn't have that great of a season. He had to sign a one-year deal with Toronto. He ends up playing very well, hit 265, 334 on base, 538 slugging, 133 OPS plus. But if you want a number that's very easy to comprehend, 45 home runs in 2021. And he was third in the AL MVP voting. So obviously, he had a great year. He earned this payday. He earned a big contract, but I'm just surprised it's actually the Texas Rangers going for it. Are we going to be looking at this deal in four or five years like we were looking at the Angels in regards to Albert Pujols or the Angels in regards, not to pick on the Angels, but in regards to the Josh Hamilton deal where we're like, what were you guys thinking? Or are we going to be looking at the Texas Rangers, you know, making the playoffs, making World Series pushes, maybe even getting to the Vol Classic, maybe even winning it all with uh, this team that they're about to construct. Because per Jeff Passan, they're not even done yet. They're still trying to get Trevor's story. So they have money to spend, and they are spending it. And the Texas Rangers, I think they still need to improve their pitching. And, and this is a team that actually had a decent rotation going into 2020, and not bad last year. And it's just they haven't been able to uh, get it done. And they've lost some guys now. Lance Lynn heading to Chicago and, and things like that. We'll check out this team, though, anyway. And uh, why not just go ahead and look at right now? This does not include Simeon yet, but you can just imagine Simeon in there at, at uh, second base. And you got Adolis Garcia, who is just an absolute beast. I mean, that is huge that they have him. Kiner Falefa, I mentioned. Willie Calhoun. You know, Nate Lau. DJ Peters, they picked up from the Dodgers, and he is a solid guy. When you could pick up a prospect from the Dodgers, because the Dodgers have so much talent, that they have a surplus of talent. You get one of their guys, it could help out. Uh, Nick Solak is great. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely not a horrible lineup, and it's just getting better with adding Simeon to it. And, um, yeah, not bad at all. And you still do have Dane Dunning. You picked up from the White Sox in that deal that I mentioned earlier with Lance Lynn. Spencer Howard. Yeah, some good, solid young pitchers that you hope turn out to be pretty good. And, uh, I mean, they have a nice little base here of talent. So they're going for it. Remember, it's not a one-year deal. So it's not like they have to win a World Series in 2022 or, you know, it's a waste. Simeon's going to be there. He's going to be in his, close to his prime for the next two, three years. Of course, you never know when guys decline. Sometimes they decline at 32 which he pretty much is going to be 32. Sometimes they decline at 34, 35, um, or sometimes they're, uh, you know, hit their hit their stride in their mid-30s. You know, it's rare, um, especially now that we're not in the steroid era, but I digress. So I think this is a, a crazy move right here. Um, I think we'll have to wait and see. if it's like I think if you're a Rangers fan, you got to be excited, I would think. At least they're, they're signing talent and they're going for it. But at the same time, if you're a Rangers fan, you might remember deals like Alex Rodriguez, who ends up getting traded to the Yankees, doesn't even finish his contract out. You know, you have got picked up guys like Jose Canseco, and that was kind of a, yeah, didn't work out. And I know I'm going way back in the day, but, you know, even more recently, the Rangers will pick up talent and, and it doesn't always work out. But still, hey, you got to go for it. And they're going for it. Simeon fleece the Rangers. Uh, worst contract in baseball, says Alex. That seems small. So we have uh, varying opinions here. Marcus Simeon actually went to the Rangers. Winning is not a priority for him, I guess. Well, it's not like the Rangers haven't been to the World Series somewhat recently, 2010 and 2011. I know the teams are completely different now, but it's not like this team has just never been good. Uh, the Rangers would like to get good again. And how do you get good other than signing good players? And this is a really good player, and you have to overpay to get him. It, it feels like too much to me, too, but you got to overpay to get the guy, especially if you're the Texas Rangers. You know, Marcus Simeon maybe wants to go to the West Coast, maybe the East Coast. I don't even know. Actually, I think he's from San Francisco. He was born in San Francisco, so this is a guy that the Giants would have loved to have, but there's no way the Giants were going to you know, pay that much money for seven years. And uh, so, hey, the team that 
pays is the team that gets him. And the Rangers said, you know what? Screw it. Seven years. Maybe they'll be regretting this at the end. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think, though. Marcus Simeon, as of now, has agreed to a seven-year deal with the Texas Rangers. Absolutely nuts. I had him going to the Houston Astros. I did have him going to Texas. Oh, yeah, I'm taking credit for that. It looks like it's going to be the Rangers. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you think of this deal here. Marcus Simeon not coming to San Francisco if you're a Giants fan like me. Sorry to break it to you. He's not coming to the Giants. I'm a little bit disappointed too, but I didn't really expect it, so not too disappointed. Texas Rangers. How about that? Marcus Simeon to Texas. Have a great day, everyone, and I will definitely let you know. Um, follow me over on Twitter at HumbabyBB, and uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this and uh, let you know if there's any changes or any updates to this story. But as of now, looks like it's, uh, it's going to be a done deal. So barring any uh, problems with the, you know, physicals and things like that, looks like he's going to be a Texas Ranger. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.